Yeah, how you guys doing? I know it's been a long time since I made a video. You have to excuse me, I'm outside here walking to at the local park where I normally frequent, close to my house. Nevertheless, um, it's been a long time. I've been fighting myself now for many months whether or not I should come back and make a video. As you can tell, today is now July 23rd, 2019. The last video I made was back in 2018 of October, I believe. And I've been fighting whether or not if it makes any difference to continue making videos for people who really and truly don't want the information. Who just want to hear something sometimes so they can actually disagree. Which is the strangest thing. I, how I've watched many people video over the months and years. And you got people on there who clearly disagree with what the person is talking about. But they just want to come on there to let them know they disagree. Okay. <laughs> if you disagree, then uh, while you're in a video. And they don't just do it on one video. They do it like damn near every video. I don't agree. Like, okay, if you don't agree, how about you create your own platform. And then you can come back what they're saying point for point. Without name calling. Call them. You know, but most of the times... Some people can't do that. So to me, it becomes entertainment. And even from the so-called intellectuals out there, they're guilty of doing the same thing where it just becomes entertainment. They'll invite people on their platform they don't agree with just for views and clicks. You know, because they know it's more, the vast majority of people like confusion, like drama, because they take it from their role models for to see in the mainstream media. I mean, when was the last time you see, when you watch the mainstream stream media, a lot of good news? It's always this person died today, and today we got a bus over here, and they're like, man, damn, you watch the news, man, you'd be totally depressed, man. Like, if you're an empath, you're like, nah, can't do it. But, so I don't fault them in totality. However, I know that the vast majority of people are drawn to drama. Even those who are always talking about drama. You know, I don't like drama. I don't like drama. But every time you turn around, they're in drama. And they like the confusion. What in the hell did this build this? Sorry about that, guys. Haven't been back here in quite some time. Got a little dog park and everything. Huh. Anyway, like I was saying, I just came back to make this video because I really and truly... <laughs> What passed for intellect these days is just laughable. And no one really, really wants to talk about real issues and actually making real progress. It's just more about confusion, clicks, and views. Hold on one second, let me all fix, my, fix this camera real quick. Yeah, sorry about that. But mainly it's just for clicks, views, but no type of action. No type of intellectual discourse. Not saying I'm some type of purveyor of intellect or some type of a scholar or some type of a prophet. However, I step back for a while to gather my thoughts, to refocus my energies and look at what's important. And to a lot of you guys, man, the confusion is what's important. Because the minute you step away from the confusion, you don't know how to operate. I figure I have to have a plane or something. Sorry about the helicopter. Hopefully, hopefully it's not too bad. Let me give it a second real quick. Yeah, it would seem to me that that's what you're drawn to. Now, I'm just freestyling. I have nothing written down. Obviously, I'm here in the park. So I'm just sitting down on the bench, just thinking and just wondering, where do you go from here? A lot of time is wasted. And when I look back on life, man, I sometimes I can't even believe that I'm not even 19 anymore. Like, wow, where did the time go? I'm already 41. Like, wow. Seemed like in the blink of an eye. Then you start wondering to yourself, man, what, what have I accomplished? If I check out of here today, what will be my legacy? Would I have lived a life worth living or worth remembering? Or would I go full? 
a lot of us check out of here full, full of potential, full of goals and hopes and dreams, you know, full of ideas we never acted upon, inventions we never invented, stories we never told, because we just don't focus on it. We just lump ourselves into, I guess, complacency, and you just become part of the system, part of the machine. You go to work, get up, pay your bills, get up, go to work, pay the... I mean, before long, that becomes your life and time just pass you by. I mean, that's the way it feels to me. I couldn't even tell you. I mean, it seemed to me like a blink of an eye. I was 19 and boom, I'm 41. Like, damn. Where did the time go? Lost some family and friends along the way. Those I knew had quite a lot of potential, but they never acted on a lot of the potential. And, I mean, I made a recent turn in my life where I've done something people say you shouldn't do. Well, I was working this job I couldn't stand, a government job, but it had no growth. I've been there for a year and 11 months. This August would have been two years, but just recently I said, you know what? I can't do it no more. I got to follow my dreams, got to follow my heart. So I went and put my two weeks notice. People say, well, do you have a job lined up? Nope. I have no job lined up now. I would not suggest people do what I'm doing. It's not for the faint-hearted, especially when you have a family. But I am no fool. I have some money put aside, so if need be, I could survive about six months without doing anything, but I'm not going to sit down and rest on my laurels for six months and not do anything. I'm going to create what I need to create for myself and for my family. But just for me, I just got tired of going through the mundane of just getting up, go to work, can't stand the job, get up, go to work, can't stand the supervisors, because there's like four supervisors, and being, being constantly overlooked for any type of uh, advancement. So you say, you know what? What's the point? Yes, you need a job to pay bills. I'm well aware of that. But I just couldn't do it anymore. Just, just ate big part of me away man just doing the same monotonous job over and over and I keep gnawing at myself because one thing I got to give thanks for that job is you have a lot of quiet time where you have to think and I keep thinking every day I said man if I check out of here right now I mean what will be the legacy I'm going to leave behind because the last thing I want anybody to say he was a hard worker there are plenty of hard workers in the cemetery that nobody knows I damn sure don't want to be one of those that's just me my opinion you might be quite different. You might have ideas that you want to work till you can't work no more. You know, some people want to die with their boots on, their work boots. That's fine. That's not my idea of living. You know, I, I think this thing we call life is very precious. And to throw it away, let me turn the side. This wind's blowing. To throw it away, just wasting away. And I never understood the concept of working hard throughout your whole youth. And when you get older... You're going to somehow enjoy life and retire. Like, well, how the hell can I retire when you're old and you probably can't afford to live because the cost of living is going to go up exponentially by the time we get old. If I'm 41 now, by the time I retire, I can pretty much guarantee Social Security would be damn near at a negative or I'll probably have to be 70 to collect it. I think the retirement age is 67 or 68. So I'm pretty sure they're going to push it back because really and truly, the secret behind that is they don't really want you to retire. They want you to die before you can retire. That's the reality of it. That's the truth. And then here's the funny thing about Social Security. Sorry, let me say it a little slower. Social Security. You know, you put all the money into the system, and if you drop down dead when you start collecting Social Security, you know it doesn't go to your family. It goes back to the government. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Didn't I put that money into the system? So shouldn't my family benefit from that money? No, but it goes straight back to the government. (laughs) See, sometimes, you know... A lot of quiet time is good, and sometimes it really gets you thinking about stuff. And that's why a lot of the, the society don't really want you to sit around, just like George Carlin was saying. You know, sit around and think about how bad you're getting screwed, you know. Because really, when you begin to think about it, man, this is really a messed up system, man. You know, and the, the cost of living is going up here in America, you know. People don't see groceries costing more and more. And see some of the stuff you buy in a store, like if you buy boxes of cereal... You know, it, the boxes got a lot thinner and taller. So you're thinking, well, nothing happened. Yeah, well, the price gone up a little bit, and you're, getting, you, you're paying more for less. You know, so your dollar doesn't stretch as far. So you see a lot of these old folks working. They might be Home Depot or Walmart greeters. You think they really want to be there standing up all day on their feet 
You know how hard it is to stand all day on your feet? That's not an easy thing to do. But they got to do it because they got to make money. Because they, didn't, they don't have enough money in their retirement. You see, I don't want to have my retirement dependent upon a system, a government or something. You know, I prefer the way my father has it where he gets his social security, but he still gets his real estate. So that's a good way to go. But a lot of people, you know, they only have their pension or social security. And if that can't keep up with the cost of living, then you in a pickle. You might find yourself at 70, 75, or, and God forbid, even 80 working. I mean, I understand working is good, but I don't want to be going to a 9 to 5 because I have to go to a 9 to 5. But those are some of the thoughts that come across my mind. You know, I don't want to stray too far. I don't, I don't even know what I'm going to even name this video because I'm just talking. You know, talking from the mind and from the heart. We as human beings waste a lot of time in unproductive things and with unproductive people. If you show me your friends, according to Dan Pena, I think his name is, I'll show you your future, and that's a true statement. If you show me your friends, and I'll show you your future, and a lot of us hang around with non-productive friends and family members, I might add. And because you don't want to break out of that comfort zone because you're comfortable around people who think somewhat like you. You know, you're comfortable with people who don't push you and check you when you need to be checking. So now you can do better than what you're doing. You stay in that comfort zone of mediocrity. You know, you never grow. So then when it's time for you to get called home, you leave all the potential, all of your gifts, and anything you had to give to the world, it goes right with you. As Les Brown would say, you know, when a lot of us go through the door, you're going to have a bunch of mean eyes looking at you. You know, there'll be all your goals, your hopes, your potential saying, you know, we could have been something. But unfortunately, we were tied to you. And that's a sad thing to be, you know, to see or even to witness in your deathbed, you know, sitting down thinking, man, if only I could have, would have, should have, you know, it's too late at that point. You know, I, I just been thinking my life a lot, you know. So, going back to, guess, uh, I guess I should go back to the main point. Well, I actually have no main point. I'm talking real and truly. So, it might seem like I'm all over the place, but I'm just talking. But what sparked me to create this video is the dismal conversation I've been hearing on YouTube about from some of the so-called intellects out there. And really, what I see, and I know a lot of these people... I don't know them personally, but I believe that they're smarter than what they portray, but they have to portray a certain type of, um, I guess, image or a certain type of ideology in order to get clicks and views because they become, I guess if they become too intellectual or too focused on results, the masses really wouldn't want to watch their videos. So I get it. I get it to some degree. But I'm not trying to make this video ridiculously long especially for the first time in about what what seven eight months i don't even know how long it's been coming back on youtube but just wanted to say hey i'm back i'll be making some videos when i get some time and maybe i have a more structure where i have a particular point i want to talk about maybe you know break down an article or something i'm not certain yet what i want to do this time around because i don't want to do the same thing i've been doing all this time you know being the same as everyone else there's no way to actually stand out when you're a clone of everyone else but all in all that time off I had it was been very interesting a lot of life you know ups and downs as usual as we all go through but I didn't let it beat me down to the point where you know I'm thinking about you know ending it all it was just one of those things you go through in life and you start reflecting on life and say, man, I could do so much more than this. Because I think back to my mom when she passed on in 2014 from breast cancer. I'm like, man, and she had a lot of potential, a lot of goals and dreams she never acted on, you know. And I don't want to go that way having all this potential inside of me. I mean, it does, it does me no good to take the potential with me. It does me no good to take all the ideas I have in my head with me. 
So from time to time, I put them on a video. So hopefully some of you guys can act on what I'm saying, not just come here and feel good and give me a thumbs up, which I do appreciate that. But really and truly, it's not, I'm, not in for, I'm not in it for likes and thumbs up and all that stuff. Like I said, I do appreciate it, but I'm in it for you to take action. Take control of your life. It's yours after all. You know, focus on what you need to focus on. You only get one go wrong on this thing called life. Do what makes you happy. The real riddle in life to me is if you can figure out what you like to do and make money doing what you like to do, that's the real secret. Haven't fully figured that out yet. But if you can figure that out, man, you get your way ahead of the game. I'm telling you. If you could do what you like to do and get paid for doing what you like to do, <laughs> you're ahead of the game. Well, thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing. Even thanks for commenting. And it's good to be back. So until the next video, you guys take care of yourself. Focus on what you need to focus on. Try to let the uh, negative influences around you. Well, don't try to let them all uh, mold you too much. Because sometimes it's easy to fall down there in that rut of negativity. Not saying it's not good to have them around you. Because sometimes that could, that could be your fuel to keep going. The naysayers. But just do your best to focus and what's going to propel you to the next step, whatever that might be. If, if for you, it might be relocating to the continent or whatever you might want to do. Do your research. Focus. Don't be driven by emotions, for sure. Don't be driven by emotions. Because I know a lot of people making it seem that relocating out of America is easy. Yeah, if you have a, a network where a uh, sponsor where somebody's going to help, you know, maintain you financially until you catch your, uh, your foot in because sometimes, you know, when the cameras go off, you have no idea who's actually supporting some of these people you see going back and forth to the continent or Europe or wherever they might be going or relocating. So you might get all excited, you know, because emotions, you know, they're showing you such a good picture, which I'm not opposed to that. I'm just saying do your research. Because the last thing you want to be on the internet begging for donations because you can't afford to sit, stay in the country because you didn't plan everything out correctly. That's all I'm saying. Nevertheless, guys, it has been great. It's been my honor and my privilege to serve you guys again. And I'll talk to you in this damn wind. <laughs> talk to you. Uh, I guess I'll talk to you again next video. Take care. I'm out.